Okay, so we're gonna prove that the infimum of this set is equal to zero. All right, so let's first sort of see what type of terms this set has, right? So this set, one over n, such that n is a natural number, we know that um, this is equal to um, one, one half, one third, one fourth, right? Etc. Etc. Right. So we can see all the terms as n as um, these terms go on, they get really really close to zero, but they're always bigger than zero. Right. So let's go ahead and start the proof. So we know that um, zero is less than one over n for every n contained in the natural numbers. So this implies that zero is a lower bound. Um, for this set, right? For the set one over n, where n is a natural number. So what we're going to do is we're going to consider an L contained in the real numbers, right? Where, um, where L is a lower bound as well. Um, okay lower bound for this set, one over n, where n is a natural number, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're gonna think, okay, well maybe zero isn't the infimum, maybe this L is the infimum, right? So we're going to suppose that L is bigger than zero, right? So if L is bigger than zero, this implies that there exists, right, um, an N naught contained in the natural numbers um, such that um, zero is less than one over N naught, which is less than L, right? Right, this is the Archimedean principle that um, L is bigger than one over N naught and we know that one over n naught is bigger than zero because any n that we choose in the natural numbers, right, is bigger than zero. So we get this inequality, okay? So what this means, so we see that L is bigger than at least one of the elements in this uh, set, right? So this means that L is not a lower bound, right? is not a lower bound for the set one over n, where n is a natural number, right? So what, what happened was when we suppose that L was bigger than zero, where L was um, any um, lower bound, right? Then we got that L wasn't a lower bound because there must exist a one over n naught between zero and L by the um, Archimedean principle, right? We know by the Archimedean principle that there exists an N naught such that one over N naught is less than L. And we know that one over N naught is bigger than zero regardless of the N naught we choose, that regardless of the N naught we choose in the natural numbers. So supposing that L was bigger than zero, right? That there was a lower bound that was bigger than zero, meaning that L is a candidate for the supremum, right? I mean, for the infimum, led to a contradiction. So this means, um, thus, L must be less than or equal to zero, which implies that the infimum of one over N, where N is a natural number, does have to be zero. And that is the proof.